the quality of your life will be dictated by the emotions that you allow yourself to feel. We live in a world where it's so easy to suppress our emotions, to feel a certain way, to get triggered by it, to get turned off by it, and then go scrolling on our phone, running from the inevitable truth that we must face. Because it's uncomfortable. A lot of the time we feel these types of ways, it's not a pleasurable experience. We may feel sad or depressed or rejected or neglected or not accepted by the world or feeling judged or feeling guilty or shameful about who we truly are. And being unwilling to feel those emotions anchors a ball and chain to you as you walk through life, keeping you in a low state of vibration, keeping you in a low state of consciousness, the survival paradigm. Because all you're trying to do is run from it. And you cannot live life when you are running from something. So the quality of your life will be dictated by the emotions you allow yourself to feel. And specifically, if you are a man watching this video, it's so important to allow yourself to process emotions. We don't live in a world where this is a safe thing to do. We've been led to believe and programmed that feeling emotions is not manly. Whether if you cry, you're a pussy, you'll get judged for it. That's so unhealthy. It's so unhealthy and it's dangerous. And this is why men feel so disconnected from each other. And the suicide rate is so high for men because they feel wrong for feeling certain emotions. How sad is that? It fucking breaks my heart. So what we need to do as men is normalize feeling emotions, allowing yourself to feel sadness or to feel a certain way about something and opening up and crying and allowing yourself to process things that way if that's the way that you process things. When things aren't going right for me or if I went through something and there's something coming up for me, I allow myself to cry. and I never feel shame for it because what I know I'm doing is I'm allowing that emotion to flow through me. And in that moment, I choose to take back my power because we're not here to suppress our emotions. We're not, we're not here to numb ourselves. We are here to feel every single emotion fully. That's the, that's the human experience because when you don't allow yourself to feel any sadness, you don't allow yourself to process that, you don't experience any joy either. You're just at this like baseline level of numbness where you never really experience anything. You become an automatic program of scrolling on social media, drowning your sorrows in alcohol, taking drugs and being addicted to things. I've fucking been there. I've been there because I was afraid to feel. But when I stopped being afraid to feel, I leveled up. I leveled up in my masculinity. I leveled up in my ability to connect with women. I leveled up in my ability to connect with myself, to find my purpose, my calling, and live that. Discipline, focus, all these things that we crave came easy after that because I allowed myself to process emotions in a healthy way. Because in those moments, when you process those things, you take back your power. You take back the energy that would otherwise get clogged inside of you because of the suppression of these things into the shadow self. And these things that we suppress into the shadows, they, they operate in our subconscious. They come up as self-sabotage. They come up as fear and doubt. And they stop us from truly living the great life that we're meant to live. And this is why it's painful to see this as such a common thing in the world that we live in. Because there's so many men out there with so much ridiculous potential. With a mission to live that have the confidence to actualize it. And they never do. Because our beliefs shape our reality. When we believe that it's not okay to feel emotions. We believe it's not okay for other people to feel emotions. Therefore, emotions make us uncomfortable. We stop ourselves from, from feeling anything at all. The, the idea is that it's not masculine or it's not manly to experience emotions. But what you're doing is you're accepting fear and guilt and shame and judgment and all these things. You're accepting those things to have power over you because you don't allow yourself to process them. And when you don't do that, they take control over you. You get stuck in the survival paradigm. You can't operate from a state of courage or neutrality or responsibility because you have not accepted the truth. And that operates in your subconscious mind, stopping you from truly living your purpose, creating the wealth and abundance and, and the things that you want in your life. The only way for us to truly level up in this world as men and become that leader that we know we need to be 
for our wife, for our girlfriend, for our family, for our friends, for our community, is to live our truth and discover ourselves. And to discover ourselves means facing these lower level emotions, processing those things, and choosing to take back our power in those moments. Finding guides, finding community, finding things that we can be around that allow us to process these things because self-improvement and all the external things like dating and the gym and business, all of these things do not click if you do not allow yourself to process these things. You'll constantly face glass ceilings, always. So take ownership over this. Shift your belief. It is okay to feel, it is okay to feel emotions, it is okay to integrate these things within yourself so that you can become whole and really step into that leadership role that you know you have locked up inside of you. Because to be a great leader, yes, you must be stern and disciplined and focused and, have, and be on purpose and have a mission, but you also need to have compassion. You also need to be able to process emotions so that you are not pulled in different directions because you can't process your emotions. You can't lead other people and have compassion for other people if you cannot have compassion for yourself. Become the leader. Step into that role face the darkness so that you can experience the light. I know you have it in you, brother. You can do it. And if you ever need help, just reach out. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video.